But our foundation is definitely in the magazine and it's going to help me talk about this week's edition and next week's edition. Hey, the lovely Brittany Langmire. Got another season here at Can TV. Uh, Chicago is checking us out and you know the magazine is going real strong thanks to Absolutely. you and Susan Haney. Oh, well. Uh, congratulations on publisher. Oh, thank uh, you. I'm yes, very excited. Yes, we got to give it to you. Good Big news, shout out. Good news. Uh, what we got going this week and next week in the magazine? We have so much. Um, this week we have a cover story about Illinois pension reform. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's got some really great stuff in it. Um, but what's going on right now is they're actually reforming uh, the Illinois state in the House on March 22nd, and it's actually going to the Senate right now. So they're going to reform how much money they fund towards pensions, but the problem is, in order to do those reforms, there's going to have to be cuts to things such as health care, education, legislature salary, um, senior services, and supportive housing. So there's a lot of unrest. Okay, and then, you know, my favorite edition is definitely going to come next week, where oh, we yeah. do a tribute to Harold former Washington. Mayor that's Harold gonna be a next week's edition. Let's talk about that real quickly. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Our editor Suzanne Haney, she interviewed a number of individuals who worked within uh, the, the worked with him exactly, and so it's just a lot of firsthand testimonials about how Harold Washington was and about his personality and his policies and. I think it's really going to be a unique piece, and you'd be missing out if you didn't pick it up. So, you know, every week our vendors have something to sell, they have something to promote, they have something to offer their customers every Wednesday at 7 a.m., and that's what's going to be out next week, and yes. the edition this week is on the streets right now. Uh, if you want to get those editions, go to a streetwise vendor near you. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got, Brittany? What upcoming events we have? Um, uh, we have all sorts of things going on uh, with our streetwise writing workshop, you know. We really emphasize the importance of improving your writing abilities to our participants. And thanks to our fantastic volunteer, Marcy Bierman, we'll give her a shout out. She comes in every Monday to work with our vendors and improve their compositional skills. And so if you pick up this issue, you're going to see a bunch of different articles from our vendors. This week's topic was friendship. So it's very evoking and I hope you'll read some of the things they wrote because they are so proud of it. Every week, That's I can't right. tell you, I've got a line at my door of the Streetwise vendors coming to say, did you publish my work? Did you publish it? How does it look? And they're just so proud. So I think... And, and they have be every right to be because when we first got the rise, we were back together. It was two people and now they have a whole force of 13 people. Yes, so it's just growing and big growing. Big shout out to the rise group and Marcy. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany, thank you for oh, being on welcome. Streetwise 3 scene. Well, we're going to have Brittany back next week. Now, my next guest... Hey, there he is. That's the man. I've been trying to get him on the show hey, for the last four years. A very important part of our organization. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have him on our show. He's been associated with the organization about four years. Uh, he is now our streetwise board chair uh, of the board of directors, Mr. Pete Cadence. What? Brother. Great, thanks, Greg. Got you on the show, man. <laughs> looking forward to uh, looking forward to learning more from you today. Well, you know, we're in it together, man. And today we spent a lot of time before we came to the studio in the streets. I want to talk about that experience because, really, I mean, you know, I've been associated with Streetwise for 15 years, uh, three years a vendor, 12 being in charge of our vendor force and our distribution. And you're one of the first board members to actually get in the trenches and goes down the street, you know, and very happy about that. We'll talk about that experience, but first. How did you get involved with Streetwise? Yeah, uh, through serendipity, really. Um, I, uh, I ran into a, a, a homeless man at, about five years ago. His name was Troy McCullough. And uh, it was a day in April. It was freezing rain, day kind of like today, except for it was freezing rain and snow. And um, I, I ran into Troy, and I asked him if I could help him. And he got in my car for 45 minutes, and I learned his story. And his story revealed that all of us are a couple bad breaks away from being in a desperate situation like Troy was. It just so happened Troy was a streetwise vendor, and uh, the community and I put together a website and raised a bunch of money to get Troy housing, get him medical care, pay his legal bills, uh, and get his life resurrected and up and running again. He was able to do that by putting together a website. Right. And it was a very serious turnout. And, you know, through that, we looked at it like this guy is that serious about helping people help themselves and, and, and going through the changes. Plus, 
he is is a good spokesman and knows a lot of people. That's the kind of person we like on our board of directors. And I and I and I'm very grateful that that day happened. Me too. And now you're associated with Streetwise. Now, how long have you been with us now? Uh, about four and a half years now. Okay, so four years ago and Streetwise today. Let's talk about the difference. So. Um, Streetwise, when I joined the board, was in what I call uh, avoid crisis mode. Um, and we were struggling to pay the bills. Um, we really had a board that wasn't all that involved. And as you know from the staff level, we had some issues with the staff. Uh, shortly thereafter, we moved into you know kind of stabilize mode, trying okay. to stabilize the organization, get it back on an even playing field where it was you know 10 years earlier, uh, and just you know become an organization that could survive. And then about a year later that, we were growing. We stabilized and then we started growing again. And now we're a very, th we're, we're, we're a profitable organization. Um, we actually, you know, Streetwise is more profitable than my company that I run last okay. year on a percentage basis. So um, we're profitable now. Uh, we have 22 board members. And now we're in a position what I call perpetual enterprise. Build a perpetual enterprise. Build an organization that survives me and you and all the other board members and all their staff and services the people of Chicago for many years to come. And uh, that's what's so exciting that we can build an organization that will be around for a long time. Now, you know, the board direction, that makes the direction of, of the organization, okay? And we have a junior board, so that's another level. That's like an entry level. Let's talk about the junior board and, and how can someone who's watching right now, they want to give back, how can they get involved as far as a junior board? Yeah, so we, we just renamed the junior board the Streetwise Associates Board. And um, this is a group of folks ranging from, you know, 21 to 32, basically, uh, young professionals professionals out in the community who want to be a part of an organization that's helping the impoverished and less fortunate in Chicago. Uh, one of the things that we're initiating with the, uh, the Streetwise Associates Board from here on out is what we call an adoptive vendor program. You know, a lot of our vendors have problems um, and deal with issues that on a day-to-day -day we just kind of ignore uh, is, is critical issues. For example, establishing credit rating, filing your taxes, uh, putting down a security deposit for a lease, um, reading and reviewing and understanding the terms of a lease. Those simple things that we often take for granted. And so we've asked this group of people, these young people who are now so sophisticated with technology and knowledge to help our vendors, to work in tandem with them, to collaborate with them, to establish a credit rating, to uh, file their taxes, to put a security deposit down on a home and so that's going to be the core tenet of the of the what we realize is these young folks these associates um they don't necessarily have a lot of money so to, to fundraise from that group of people it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense but they have the energy mm -hmm. and the time and the resources to help our vendors grow and and nurture them and so that's what we're going to be doing with the, the, the board so it's about leadership and empowering people to lead I mean, that, that, that's what it's all about. I mean, when you look at what we do with the vendors of Streetwise is uh, we, we empower them with an income vehicle that puts, you know, a roof over their head, food on their table, supports their families. And similarly, with our board members, our staff, mm -hmm. uh, our, associates, our associates board, we ask them to be leaders in the community. We ask them to step up and help people and do things that, uh, that can change the world. Okay, so how can one get involved um, at the junior board level and on the board of directors of Streetwise? Yeah. What, what they need to do? So... Uh, First of all, we want good people. Right, uh, we gotta have, have good people. We have a at my company, and I think that uh, we have a we have a company motto, and I think it, it it also transcends my company and it's associated with Streetwise too. It's humble, hungry, smart. We want people who are humble. Uh, we want people who listen. Mm -hmm. We want people who are hungry. They want to change the world. They want to help people. And we want people who are smart. And uh, that's what we look for with associates board members. That's what we look for with members of the board of directors. Um, but the most important thing is there are certain boards you can join that are just celebratory roles in nature. Right, just, you can I'm show on up, the board. I'm yeah, I'm on, on the board. board. I'm right. on the board. I can show up, you show up at a meeting, <laughs> you buy a table at the gala. This is not that. This is an organization where you're going to make a direct impact. It's a small organization, and we need people who want to make a positive impact in the city of Chicago. Uh, so you got to come to work. you got to come to play. And I, and that's what inspires you because you realize that, you know, the input that you all have have has an impact on other people's lives. You know, putting people house, putting people in housing, pe putting people in employing them, having to make money. People take care of their families, you know, selling streetwise. And that's what inspires you, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I you know, earlier today we were talking about how, uh, how Greg had said how the board changed or, you know, the whole construct of streetwise changed when I got involved. But the reality is, is that I, I changed with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I became a better person. I became a better family man. I became more conscious of the world around me. I became more conscious of issues dealing with uh, poverty and, and, and misfortune. And so together we change. And, uh, and you know, 
uh, Streetwise has had a profound impact on my life and my family's life. Uh, and we've become close friends with people like Greg and Brittany and and uh, and the vendors and their families. And so it's it's been an amazing run. And I, you know, I appreciate it because from the top to the bottom, you know, the difference between the past and the present is more of a family environment. And that's and that's something to be proud about. And we talk about that in the vendor force, and I'm sure you guys discussed that on the board level. Uh, I was mentioning earlier, you know, one of the first board members to actually get out in the trenches to go out in the streets with me and really see that side. And we talked to some people who were vendors. We talked to people who were panhandlers. We talked to people who didn't want to work. What, what was that experience for you like, man? Well, I've always had a, a sociological fascination with uh, the homeless dating back to when I was 17 years old and I spent three days in a homeless shelter. And uh, um, it was something that I, I decided to do. And so getting out there, talking to these folks, to me, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're a leader, you gotta lead by example. And so if you lead an organization, you don't actually know the fundamental um, rationale for the organization's existence, uh, which is the people. Exactly. Uh, you got to get to understand them. You got to get to understand what makes them tick. What I was able to do with you today is get out and really get a sense for why people are a part of Streetwise. Mm -hmm. um, get a sense for, again, what, what put them in a position to have to sell Streetwise. Um, you know, certain things have happened in their lives uh, and they ended up on the streets. Uh, on the verge of homelessness. Mm -hmm. um, it's good to hear the stories because it empowers us and motivates us and inspires us and that's what makes us, you know, a part of the organization. One thing that I did notice today being in the field is there's less people doing Streetwise illegally. And that's a good thing. That means there's less people out there perpetrating as a streetwise vendor, using it as a hustle, and the, most of the vendors that are out there actually working it like a job. Um, you saw the ones that didn't really want to work. They were panhandling. I can respect that because what the guy does, he panhandles. But, you know, people have to understand that you do not have to be homeless to sell streetwise. And that's we right. have a lot of formerly homeless men and women who sell streetwise, and we have vendors who've never been homeless in their life, and they appreciate the job opportunity. Upcoming events. Um, one of the ways we get funded is, what, with grants? Grants, individual donations, we love those. Uh, you can call that number right there if you want to make a big donation. Um, we have uh, we have a Hoops for Homelessness event that we sponsored at the Berto Center just uh, last weekend, uh, the Bulls practice facility. And our big event annually is our Streetwise Gala event. That's what I'm talking now, about. Now, this event is just, I mean, man, we have come a long way. Yes, sir. Remember when this organization, you know, this, this gala was like 40 people. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and now it's hundreds of people, raise hundreds of thousands of dollars. Last year we raised $165,000. This year our goal is $200,000. That is the crux uh, fundraising event. This year I'm proud to say uh, it's at Soldier Field. And, uh, New location. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be during, awesome. During the middle of the season, we're going to turn the lights on at Soldier Field. We're going to be in the United Room. Everyone's going to be able to look onto the field uh, while we're having our event. Uh, we got a capacity for about 400 people, and uh, it's uh, September 26, 2013. It's going to be a great event. We have a live auction, a silent auction, uh, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. December 26? No, September 26. September 26. September 26, September 26 2013. 2013. Yep. September 26, 2013. Hey, the Streetwise Gala at Soldier Field. Um, how can they find out a lot more from us? Go to our website. Go to our website. Uh, Streetwise.org. Yep. And if they like to make any um, calls, uh, call down to our office, 773-344-6600, and get in touch. We're going to give you the information about the gala. They still can, we still have available seats, right? Where is, tickets go on sale in the next, uh, next two weeks. All right. So, you know, learn more about that Streetwise Gala coming up September 26, 2013. We want you guys to be there in Soldier Field. It's the first time in Streetwise history you're going to be in Soldier Field. <laughs> Big shout out, Soldier Field. Um talked about the adoptive vendor program and i think that is very important it's like a mentoring program that we had and that's good to give back uh neighborhood cards i Let's mean talk about the neighborhood so cards. so one of the things when we got uh the the organization moving in the right direction again one of the things you start to think about is the fact that um the publishing business hasn't been the greatest business over the last three or four years in fact the publishing business has been on a major decline now, the good news is the Streetwise publication has been on an, you know, an upswing, but on the whole, the publishing industry is in a tough position. And so what uh, John Reinsdorf and I, uh, who is vice chairman uh, of the organization now and the former chairman, decided to do is think about other streams of revenue, other
other business models mm -hmm. that will allow us to scale and succeed with the less fortunate in the Chicago community. The Neighborhood Cards platform is that platform. Everybody loves their fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, we have a serious need in the food desert areas where That's there right. are no uh, grocery stores or supermarkets. And, uh, and through a $150,000 grant from the city of Chicago and in partnership with Neighborhood Capital, we were, we were able to get now 30 uh, fruit and vegetable carts uh, up and running, uh, 15 in the largely in the Loop and River North area, 15 in food deserts, and our, um, our vendors are really excited to get out there this warm weather season and uh, and sell lots of fruits and vegetables. And the thing about Chicago, you know, we do have vendors that are working the cars program, but you don't have to be a vendor to be a part of the fruit cars program. So if you like more information about it, once again, check out our website, but definitely give us a call down at our facility 773-344-6600 and learn more about the fruit carts program. Uh, Pete. Man, it was it was a blast yeah. having you here on Thanks. Streetwise Street Scene, man. Um, looking forward to having you come back. Uh, thank you for all the times you put in the organization and things you're doing for the Streetwise. And I, I, I had a lot of vendors want to say uh, hello to Pete Caton. So uh, okay. take care, okay. and thank you for coming right. on the show, my brother. Thanks, guys. Chicago, we had Pete Caton, board chair, a director here at Streetwise Street Scene. Uh, if you want to get more information about Pete and what we're doing and the board and how to get involved with us, don't forget to check out our website or give us a call down at our facility at Streetwise headquarters now.